Hey everyone, before you get started watching today's video, I want to let you know I'm running a special contest and all you have to do is stay around to the very end of this video to figure out how to enter. I'm giving away two sets of BNC to SCART adapters. These are high quality adapters with audio breakout in them. So make sure you enter the contest to get your chance to win a free set of high quality BNC cables. Hi everyone, welcome back to today's Retro Tech. I'm going to show you in this video how to make your own SCART to BNC adapter. Now this is going to be the high quality adapter just like you see in front of me that's been sold hundreds of times on eBay. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own high quality cable set and it's only going to cost you about a third of the price that it would be if you bought it assembled from eBay. Before we get started with there though, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel and that you have the bell notification activated. That way you can make sure you won't miss any future episodes of Retro Tech. Now let's take a look at the items you're gonna to need to make your own set of cables. These are the items I'm gonna to use to make my cable set today. First off, I've ordered just a, basically an extension cord. It's a six foot cable and it has BNC connectors at both ends. So my plan is to actually cut this in half exactly and make two different SCART cables out of one. That way I can make the most efficient use of my cables. Then I've got a female SCART head, which just comes wrapped like this, and that'll be used for the other end. The last thing I'm going to need is a recycled uh, audio cable. This one was just recycled from something else that was no longer in use. So we'll use this cable to uh, feed our audio signal from the SCART female head. Lastly, I'm going to need some heat shrink tubing to protect my solder connections. Today I'm just going to be using some flux, some rosin core solder, and then my Hakko soldering unit. Let's get started with this cable. Here we have our cable unwrapped. First thing I'll do is measure it and cut it in half. So here we have my cable that's been cut and now I'm going to just strip back this wire and protective coating and then we're going to expose these wires and we'll tin them that way we can make it easier on us to connect this to the scart head. So now I'm just, like I said, stripping this wire back so I'm going to take a good uh, two inches off there. Now you can save this external wrap and connect it to your ground loop on your SCART head if you want to. We've got each of our colors red, green, blue and then black we'll use for our sink. So the rest of this paper can be clipped out of the way for now. And I've got each of those four cables just split off here. And I got a ground, for example, ground here, and this is the blue color. So there's one line like that for each color, and then we've got our black, which we'll be using for the sink with the ground. And here's the audio. We've got left and right audio, and then I've connected the ground together for left and right because we'll use the same ground pin for audio when we connect this. So now I'm going to add some solder to the end of this and just tin up these tips so I can get them ready to install. Here's my handy holder and I'm just going to add some flux to the tips of that cabling. And then I'm just going to go through and flow fresh solder on these lined ends just like that. Next, I need to have my cables kind of connected together. An easiest way to do that will be to use some other shrink tubing, some larger shrink tubing. Now this one's not quite big enough, so I've cut it down a little bit and then uh, I'm just gonna stretch it some by sticking my needle nose pliers in. That way I can give it a little bit more space to slip my cables through. 
Here's our skirt head. My first thing I need to do is unscrew this part. And we need to use this, get this on our cables too. All right, so first I've got this skirt head. this to our scart head. Let's go ahead and open this up. Now I need to get this head open and you can do it anyway just be careful. Try to push it apart like that. Set that aside and this is what we're going to connect. Our red, green, and blue as well as our sink and our audio to. So let's take a quick look at the pinout for this and how we're going to wire this up. Now here we have a standard 21 pin SCART pinout. And this is for RGB with composite for sync. So the first thing we need to do is connect our color lines which will be connected on line 7, 11, and 15 with the proper colors. And then we'll come in next and add our ground connections for each color right next to its coordinated color. So that'll be pins 13, 9, and 5 for ground connections. Now we're going to use pin 20 to add our composite sync line. And then I'm going to use pin 21 as the ground line for that composite sync line. The last thing we need to do is add our audio input. And that will be using pins 2 and 6. And then we'll use our ground to connect to pin 4 on the SCART head. So thankfully my SCART head connector right here is numbered on the back so it's going to be really easy to connect this to this pin out properly. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get these little heat shrink tubing very short just so I can protect each one of my connections. I'll put it over them. Now I'm going to solder this in and I'll come back and check in with you in a minute when it's finished up. Here's our completed project pretty much. So we've got audio on this side with the ground and then our three colors with grounds here. Our ground back here for our composite sink and then our sink on composite line here. So the last thing to do will be to replace this head on here, buckle it back up and let's give it a test run. This is it, the finished cable. It's all been put back together. Let's go hook it up to a PVM now and see how it works. Let's just see, I've got the Super Nintendo hooked up. RGB, there we go. So we've got a screen, red, green, and blue, and sync. And then let's try something to see if we've got sound. Yep, and just like I thought, we've got sound. And no artifacts, nothing. So we did it right. Great, there you have it. All right, there you have it. You can make your own cables like this. Again, high quality SCART to RGB BNC connectors. You can make it for a lot cheaper, at least half the price that you would pay for one that's pre-assembled on eBay. And also, if you buy the cables that I've got linked to below, you can buy two heads like this, and then one cable, split it in half, and you'll actually have two different adapters from one single cable setup. 
So it's a great value. Now again, I told you at the beginning of this video I'd be announcing a giveaway, and here's the details. First off, I'll be giving away one set of these cables to a Patreon member. This video will be posted on Patreon, so please, if you're a Patreon member and want to win a set of these cables, just post in the Patreon post that you want to win, and I'll have you entered in the drawing there. However, if you're not a Patreon, you can still win a set of these cables. I'm going to be giving away a set to any subscriber, and here's the rules on how you enter the contest to win this cable. All you have to do is, one, be subscribed, two, hit the like button on this video, and then three, comment below and put, I want in. Just put that you want in on the drawing for the cables, and I'll make sure you're in. And then in the first week of July, we'll do a live show. We'll do a drawing and we'll give away the cables. One set again to the Patreon member and another set to any subscriber on the channel. Thanks again for watching, everybody. And I'll see you next time with some more retro content.